Hi again, it's Lori here. Uh, this is the painting that I'm going to be doing or showing you on the video today. Obviously, I've already finished it. Um, just wanted to go back and do the a brief introduction. I also, before I say anything else, I wanted to say thank you guys again so much. I have 102 subscribers now. So, um, yeah, my street cred with my granddaughters is really going up. <laughs> so, <laughs> although one of them told me I'm just not cool enough to make YouTube videos. <laughs> so, they think these are rather boring, uh, even though one of them loves to paint herself. And uh, I kind of have to fuss with her for uh, desk time occasionally. This is where I'm painting is at a desk. We are, um, we travel with my husband. He travels with his work um, frequently to where we are now, which is in Southeast Washington. And uh, we are living in a hotel suite for, well, since the middle of January of this year. Um, so for the last several months. Um, luckily the job is going to be coming to an end soon. So we will be getting to go home. But, um, yeah, I don't have a whole lot of room to, uh, to paint, so we sort of, I've commandeered the desk uh, in our room, and just, I'm sure, you know, the housekeeping staff here thinks I'm insane because I have a trash bag taped down on the desk with paper towels taped down over top of that, and then I've got this piece of Yupo that I put down over the paper towels. I was using some transparent Yupo the other day, and I had so many stains on the paper towels that it was driving me crazy. I, I was having a hard time seeing what was on the Yupo and what was showing through it. Um, all right, this one, you know, not one of my favorites. I feel like the last couple of days I have kind of been struggling. I'm I'm not really sure what's going on. Just um, you know, still trying to get over feeling a little bit bad and right now I've just got allergy problems like crazy. You guys will probably hear me sniffling <clears throat> when I'm trying to do voiceovers and things and I apologize for that. Um, I, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm seriously overworking the ink right now and that's something I've got to keep reminding myself of. I'm going to probably start another one tomorrow. I uh, We're going to the movies this evening. We have a family date planned, so we uh, I won't be painting any this evening, but I'm going to try and start fresh tomorrow and kind of lighten up on myself. I think I have been trying a little too hard. I I want it to be so good for you guys and, you know, I want to be able to do everything just perfect so that it turns out just right, so that it helps you all, um, you know, do things the right way. Or, no, not that there's a wrong way to do this, really, but, um, you know, just to make it easier for you to understand and, and get the kind of looks that you want. And But I think I'm trying a little too hard, and I need to just go back to having fun painting. And that's what I'm going to start doing uh, when I start my painting tomorrow. So hopefully um, the <laughs> I'll have a better video for you guys out of that one. Um, I do have the video on this one. I have a video on one more. Um, I'll show you a quick picture of it. I have I finished it this morning. Oops. And uh, I will hopefully be getting time to do a voiceover for it. Um, I, well, it'll probably be tomorrow before I get time to do the voiceover, but hopefully I can get it posted sometime tomorrow. Um, this is the one that, uh, the other one that I've done that, uh, I'll have a video up sometime, hopefully tomorrow, if I can get time to do the voiceover, but you can see on that one too. Wow, I'm struggling. And, uh, you know, I know with a lot of the artists that I've watched, you pretty much only see the ones that you just go, wow, that's gorgeous. But I really wanted to go ahead and put these two on there because I want you guys to see that it doesn't matter if you're brand new, it's the first time you've done it, or if you've been doing it for, 
I don't know how long, however long you've been doing it, you, you know, there's just going to be times that for whatever reason, it's not going to come out perfect. It's, I mean, this, you know, this is okay, but I don't love it. It's not even close to what I intended when I started. And, you know, and that's okay. It's, that's just part of this type of art, and I'm pretty sure I've said it before on other videos, in that it's, you know, just go with it. And sometimes you can fix things, and my problem has been I'm trying too hard to fix things, I think, instead of just kind of relaxing and going with the flow. Um, so, um, that's a little bit about the the mess I feel like I made out of this painting. <laughs> so, well, I hope that even though I'm not real happy with it, that, um, you know, that you guys can get something out of the process at least. And that's another reason for going ahead and showing these because it's still, you know, you can see the process of working the ink, of putting in metallics. And oh, one thing I wanted to show you all, um, before I get started with the rest of the video is, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the metallic, because I so overworked this, and it's actually pretty cool because I used pinata brass and it has picked up the color of the ink underneath it and left just a really pretty um, shaded metallic color that's kind of, I don't know, coppery looking, and then there's some green in here, and, and you've got, the gold is no longer the shiny gold look. It picked up some of the brown and gave it a, I don't know, more yellowish tone to it. I guess that's, I don't know, <laughs> I guess that's yellow. Um, which was really cool, and I thought about going back and just putting gold over top, in the center, but I decided to leave it like it is because I, I actually do kind of, of like that where it picked up the other color. So I will um, let you guys go ahead and get to watching what I've done on this and hopefully uh, somebody will learn something and, uh, you know, <laughs> I will definitely um, be trying some different stuff. Or, or doing some videos of a different type of painting. Seems like here, the, the videos that I've done, too many of them are the same, this same kind of shape. I'm not doing enough different things. I'm not sure why I'm kind of stuck on this right now. So I will um, let you guys get to watching and I'll see you at the end. Okay, I forgot to tell you all in the little intro that I did there. The colors that I used in this one were um, all uh, the Tim Holtz Ranger colors. I used teakwood, uh, which is what I just put down there, and then salmon, and just a little bit of meadow. So my original plan for this was to have something that was just kind of long and slender uh, with just a couple of colors blended in together a little bit. I had done one similar to that, um, I don't know, a week or two ago, and I really liked it. And so I was going to give it another shot and uh, see what I could do. And I just absolutely blew it on this one as far as what I wanted to do. Um, so, if you want to do one of the long ones, this is, for me, this way works pretty good. Um, I generally try to, uh, you'll see right there, as I, I make that long stream coming down, as I'm pushing it towards the center, I'm also kind of making a long run of it down through there. To, I don't want the sides to spread out very far because I would want to put other color um, somewhere on the side. Although you could actually do it with just one color and it would look really pretty too. And that's, I'm 
this is what I'm still doing here. You'll see I'm trying to kind of spread it down to get that dark line through the center. And um, I don't want it to be bunched up in a bunch. I want that dark line to kind of go, you know, pretty far down the, the length of the paper. So I generally try to, to keep my line going down through there some. I am, as you can see, I've already started having a problem here where um, I'm starting to get a little more of a bunch, a, a dark area in the center than what I really wanted. But I decided to go ahead and leave it for that point because I was hoping I could, uh, as I added the, the next color, salmon, that I could um, kind of uh, smooth that line out or make it more of a line instead of such a, a dark glob there in the center. Now you see um, I also use the pinata brass. I put it in with the salmon right there. Sometimes if I'm doing one like this I do I like to only put the metallic color in with one shade. I don't add it in with everything. I'll just pick one so that you've got some of these little glittery metallic accents here and there without it being spread out through the whole painting. Now you see I kind of came off to the side of where the teak wood color is. Um, what I wanted was, you know, to come on up with the salmon, which is what I'm trying to do here, and then just kind of blend those just a little bit and um, and let it be. <laughs> just kind of, you know, I wanted it to kind of come to a, a point on the ends, which I've already blown it right there. Although I could have gone ahead and, and fixed that some, kind of slimmed down those ends a little bit. Um, yeah, going back and trying it with this side. Just, you know, but bring that color up right next to the other one. And then um, I'll generally take some alcohol and go down through the center of the line where those two colors meet. Now, the, the problem with doing that with this is I lose a lot. See, so you see how the line is coming down towards the hand I have the alcohol in right now and uh, it when you start trying to blend your two colors together just a little bit you will lose that line now you can go back and do a little bit more on each side and kind of push a little bit more in towards the center but then you run into the problem that I did where I ended up over blending and I uh, just bleh I, I'm, I'm so disgusted with myself right now that it's hard for me to even do a voiceover because I was just not really happy with this one. It was kind of a, yeah, yeah, that's okay. But then the next one that I did, I was so bound and determined to do better that I did worse. Just, you know, relax and let it flow. The, I, I spent way too long trying to force the ink to do what I wanted it to do rather than just going with the flow, which is what I've told you guys to do, but I was not practicing what I preach right here. Now you can see I lost so much of that salmon color that I wanted to go ahead and add a little bit more. It was just, it was much lighter than I had wanted it to be because I had messed around with it a little too much and blown too much of it back towards the center. Yeah, sometimes you'll see me just turn the painting around and around and it's like, well, what the heck do I do now? See, my, my balance is just out on this one. The, the composition of it is, it's too much just an oval going down the paper. And that is one reason why I kept working it 
uh, was to try and get some of that out of it. But once again, I was trying a little too hard and I, I had already gotten a little frustrated by this point. And so I wasn't doing things that I know to do to bring the shape back that I want. See in here, I think this is where I, yeah, that, yeah, decided to go ahead and put in a little bit of the green. That was not my original intention. Um, but I was hoping I could get myself to like it a little bit better if I added another color in there and possibly um, just improve the composition of it a little bit. I was, I don't, I, I just don't even really know what to say about all this. This is just watching me struggle with um, trying to figure out what to do and where to do it. I mean, I knew where I wanted to put the next spot of green, but I just, it seemed like the more I did to this, the more unhappy with it I got. I, what I probably should have done, and this is a good thing to remember for you guys too, when you get frustrated with one, just lay it down, walk away. If you don't come back to it for a month, you know, that's not a problem. That the, One of those great things about alcohol inks is all you have to do is put a little more alcohol on and you reactivate your ink and you can start moving it wherever you want then. But I had gotten really stubborn, and I was just bound and determined to make this look like something halfway decent. And there's, I mean, you guys have probably seen a couple of places where I probably should have just stopped, uh, you know, and just left the painting alone. But, yeah, I definitely should have just taken a break and let it go at least until the next day and just walked away from it. That's the best way to save a painting for me is when I'm getting really frustrated is to just stop. It doesn't matter how much I want to paint. If, if one's really bothering me, just lay it aside and start another one if I'm not ready to stop painting and if that one doesn't work lay it all aside and go do something else for a few hours or a few days um you know you you'll come back to it i always do it's a total addiction i cannot stop doing this i absolutely love this style of painting and it is tremendous fun and it gives me a great sense of peace most of the time uh, this one, no, wasn't getting that sense of peace <laughs> from this one. Yeah, you can see here where my colors got blended a little too much on the end. I mean, I still was was getting some nice looking lines and folds and things on it, but um, just wasn't loving the balance of the painting. The I didn't want. Um, too much of a blending of the colors. I wanted them to blend, but I wanted you to, to still be able to see the different colors as well. I'm sure I was probably making some rather interesting faces while I was painting this, thanks to my um, kind of frustration level that I had. Right there, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I had a little overly light spot and I was just trying to fix that and I managed to it, it was glaringly obvious to me just sort of an almost totally white place in there that I really wanted to to fix I ended up leaving it just a, a touch too dark right there but to me that was better than leaving it just a white hole in the middle of the paper paper 
Yeah, so now I'm trying to bring some more of the color back down uh, to that corner because I had gotten so much color on the other side that, you know, I had really thrown that balance out again. So I had to go back and try and and even up the sides because I, I, I had the corners there. I didn't want it to be, you know, super dark and vibrant on one corner and then really light and pastel on the other. And which is one of the things that the with the final painting that I'm still not happy with is it's uh, it's too light on one end. It's just a little too wispy on one end where the other end's got some darker lines and folds and the paint is just little, or the ink is just a little bit darker on that other end. And one something that I did not fix until um, right before I did this video is um, so you know, on one side you can see the green is just super strong, and I really don't know how when I got done with this for some reason I didn't even notice it until I was just completely done. And I thought, oh, I'm not going to go back and add another. 15 seconds of video just so you guys can see that all I did um, after I was done doing the video on this was just went back and uh, just put like one little squirt of ink right here I'm just picking up a couple of places where some ink had splattered I had actually had gotten gold ink on my hand at one point and had a gold thumbprint on the paper so be real careful about not getting it on your hands See, you can see on that upper part there where the green is that it just, I didn't like the shape. I didn't like the way it was too green uh, to match the other side a little bit. So I did go back in after the video was over and fix that just a touch. So that is my really bad struggle on this painting. I'm really sorry, guys, that it's not a little bit better um, like I said, I think I've been trying too hard. I will, um, you know, try and get back to my original just love and relaxation and not caring if it comes out perfect. Uh, you guys will learn a lot more from watching me do that than you will watching me struggle like this anyway. But I did want to share some of my struggles with you just as a reminder that I, I don't care how long you've been doing it or how good you think you are or how good other people think you are, you're going to have times when you just don't like it and it doesn't look that great. Um, I will definitely try to get the next one posted soon. Hopefully um, tomorrow we can get these bad ones over with. <laughs> I will be seeing you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed it.